<laughs> but anyhow, but I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, but you're right. Uh, but the point was that he did this great piece of work, but it took two years for the physics community to recognize what he had done. Wow. While he was in that patent office still trying to figure out how to get a job as a physics professor, he looked out the window one day and he saw some workmen on the roof. And he had this uh, sort of story coming to him that if the guy, one of the guys fell, he wouldn't feel his weight. And so that started Einstein thinking about gravity. He's thinking and of the death of someone working on a roof next door. I did not well, know this. Well, not the actual death, but right. the process that would lead to it. <laughs> it's just his fall to imminent death. That's, that's right. All. That's yeah, just right. the imminent fall. Okay, I, I did know Einstein had this morbid side of him. Yes. And so, However, I, let me just say, I totally get it, because I think about the death of the guy that blows that leaf blower outside my bedroom window every Saturday morning. <laughs> oh. And so I started, started thinking about gravity. And by so this is like, an, in fact, he calls this the happiest thought of his life. Wait, wait, so, so wait, so Jim, this is like Newton's apple moment. Yes. Where he sees the apple falling, and then he sees the moon, and then there's a, there's a, there's a eureka moment in there. And that's what happened with Einstein in 1907. So the thing that's curious about Einstein is all the people think about him as a mathematical genius. Every time he did something, he actually had to learn more mathematics. So he didn't actually have the mathematics to realize what his intuition was. And he, he didn't get it right until 1915 or 16. You know, Jim, that happens to me all the time. I have thoughts I have to invent new math to... You know, that, that's just a, that's a, just a thing. Yeah. Well, you know, some of us actually do that, Neil. Uh, that's a other, another whole story, and I'll tell you about that one later. Yeah. But uh, anyhow, so he had this idea that took him almost a decade to get it down to the mathematics. And when he finished it, it was the theory of general relativity. It's the piece of thing that tells us that there was a big bang. It's the piece of mathematics that lets us know we live in a universe that is 13.8 billion years old. And so that came from that 1917 epiphany. Wow. No, I mean 1907. 1907. 